Welcome back guys, Jared with Team Montana here in Elkhart, Indiana. I take a lot of pride in presenting this content to you about this awesome product. So today we're gonna to cover five changes that really impressed me with the outside of this trailer. About a quarter of the way through the video, we'll step inside. So just fast forward to the time I have on the bottom of the screen. Please like and subscribe. I will present the best material to you. Uh, and I say that with confidence, not arrogance. So let's go check it out. All right, so first thing we're gonna talk about the new graphics. You got a completely redesigned front cap with a nice M logo on the front with the Montana up top. Along the side, you've got a different type of swoop, blue stripe in there. Uh, just a really nice streak along the side. Then the second thing I want to talk to you about is these G-Range tires that they've upgraded. This is what the full-blown Montanas are going to have on them. They are 110 PSI steel belted tires. They're going to do an awesome job. We've had a lot of good reviews on G-Range tires on the Montanas previously. Nice big 16-inch uh, trim. So it just makes the appearance of that new swoop design you see on the side look really good going down the road. Number three, you can see that the slide mechanism has completely changed. They've gone away from the pulley system with the cables. A lot of you are gonna be excited about that change to a rack and pinion. So the benefit is inside, you actually gain a couple of inches of space due to not having those pulleys and cables and mechanisms in the way. Now it's all in frame, runs on the tube and some gears. Number four, stepping over to your wet bay compartment. Every Montana high country now is going to have a 75 gallon fresh water tank. That's roughly 15 gallons more than what they offered before. So boondocking, that's huge. That is very huge. That's, that's a whole nother couple of days for you. And as you can see, you've got the big two inch drain. So when you're gonna end your camping trip, that's an easy flush. You don't have to wait 45, 50 minutes for this tank to drain out. Number five you've got your solar controller so it is a standard from montana high country to have a 15 amp solar controller that you can see here right next to your 2000 watt inverter up on the top we have a 200 watt solar panel so this is really going to help the longevity and the life of your batteries when you're traveling it's going to help power the refrigerator it's going to just overall give you a better experience camping that's it for the outside let's go check out the inside Stepping inside, this is the Montana High Country 295 RL. All these changes I've been covering and will continue to cover in this video are reflecting all Montana High Countries, regardless of the model. Layout might be a little bit different, but the features are going to remain the same. So starting over here, big change with your table. No more center post for banging your knee on and making it kind of awkward getting in and out of the table. Uh, you've got a lot of space here, big chairs, big cushions top does extend out so that you can have more guests and more elbow room play some cards but the big thing is they've removed that post made it a sturdier tabletop and they've actually changed your flooring to um it's still a pvc type pontoon style but it's just a nicer design a little easier on the eyes lighting is all the same very beautiful nice accent lighting air conditioning system has changed it is now a whisper quiet system front and rear with a new air conditioning technology that you can see how the cones actually attract the air and distribute it differently in 360 versus making hot and cold spots. So it's going to do a better job dispersing your unit in one temperature. This particular Montana is equipped with the graphite sofa and theater seating. Your other alternative is going to be the homestead, which is almost the same tone. It's just more brown color scheme to it. Big windows you've got on your campsite, plenty of view. Even along the back, you've got the side window that's really tall and a humongous back window. Over here in your entertainment center, so you get a bigger TV now. It used to be a 40 inch, now it is a 50 inch standard on all Montana high countries. So that's nice to see. You got your entertainment center down this below in this glass. So you've got your speakers here, you got speakers up in the bedroom and then speakers outside as well. And a built in fireplace that it actually works. It puts out heat, it puts out like 70, 700 BTUs. It also has really nice colors that I'd show you, but I'm plugged into my car battery right now not 110 up above you've got a bunch of storage again the new black poles ton of space 30 inch microwave triple burner stove top with the pretty good sized oven here you can at least put a eh, 12 pound turkey in 
This is the residential refrigerator, so it's by GE. It has a built-in water filtration system, a water spigot in the side so you get nice fresh cold water, and an ice cube maker down in the freezer drawer. If you look closely in the center here, you can see your backsplash has changed. This is an Italian marble style finish. Absolutely love it because I'm Italian, last name Campoli. All right, so it's very nice to see. Nice and low. At your entry door, you have a new screen assist. So it's a grab handle that goes all the way across this screen door so it's easier to bring the screen door in, separate from the door. You got your central vacuum, which is a standard on all Montana high countries. You've even got a coat hanging closet with a little pegboard. You can put your keys, maybe make some smell. Control center, so all of your light switches and slide components. Meters for your holding tanks, fresh water tank, heating pad, grays and black heating pads. So this is the true Four Seasons full-time livable unit. You can go zero degrees all the way up to 100 degrees and you will be comfortable. This here is on your way up to the bedroom in the hallway here. You've got a new sleek black handle matches all your poles and that thing is stout. I'll tell you what, you don't have to worry about ripping that bad boy out of the wall. All right, so moving on up into the bedroom and bathroom. Countertops have changed. Again, going with that nice Italian marble look here in the black cabin. Man, that looks good. Woo! I love it. All right, sorry, I got distracted. I like it. Um, sink has gotten bigger. It's also white now. Uh, feels like plastic, not too sure. And a little bit more room to put your hand in here, do your business. You got storage behind this medicine clip cabinet. To my left is the washer dryer prep. On this specific unit, it is a combo only, which is okay. All right, last thing we want to do on vacation is laundry. Um, I've learned that this is all one fiberglass unit. So the big thing is there's no maintenance here. Like you see some of the other showers, they might appear a lot more pretty because they have like a nice tile or a nice design to them. But if you look down towards the bottom, they've got a seam that you have to silicone all of the time, as well as all the way up the side. So with this Montana high country, it is the one piece mold. So there's no maintenance to it. Just shower, wipe it down, you're ready to rock and roll. You got the Dometic toilet with the foot flush. It is a porcelain toilet. There is, uh, and you've got some more storage up above. This is a stepping into the bedroom. Huge changes. Absolutely love that they put these neat, nice CPAP machines up on the top corners. Now you've got plenty of room on the sides of your bed. You don't have to. The headboard has changed. You've got the nice diamond pattern look there. Just really freshens it up, makes it up, makes it look nice and clean, along with the nice designer pillows and your bedspread. You do have storage underneath the bed. As you can see here, there's your central vacuum hose. Then you've got a very sleek looking barn style sliding door. Over to my left, humongous window, fire exit window with the wardrobe stand here. Ton of pull out drawer space. Wow, sorry, pulled pretty aggressively there. And then you've got TV prep to your top left up here so that you can add a nice TV on a swivel mount. A lot of hang, all kind of storage there. Plenty of hanging space. You can put all kind of dresses and shirts and pants. Plenty of room for t-shirts and socks. And look at these drawers. These are ginormous. All right, they're not the deepest, but I'll tell you what, there is plenty of room in there. All right, same with the bottom one. And then you've got some divided shelving here and your hanging closet as well. So each model is gonna be a little bit different in the bedroom. Uh, but again, this color scheme, this palette, this design is going to all be the same in a 2022 Montana high country. So there we have it, folks. I appreciate you watching. Just remember, my name is Jared. I am Team Montana. I take a lot of pride in providing the best content about Montana fifth wheels. That's what led us to be the number one dealership two years in a row now for Montana. I take a lot of pride in saying that. Not in arrogance, all right? Please send me a text or write me an email. I look forward to working with every single one of you. I will make your trip here worthwhile and provide you the best experience buying a Montana fifth wheel. I guarantee it. Have a blessed day, y'all.